Hey beauties, it's Jazz here from Amaze of Beauty and I made a cute little tutorial on how I color and style this wig. It's cute, right? So if you want to see how I did it, make sure you stay tuned. I started off by using L'Oreal High Color in Magenta and 40 Developer by L'Oreal as well. Then I'm just going to stir until it's mixed thoroughly. Taking small sections, I'm just going to apply the color to the hair with a brush. Once I get all of the color that I want on that section of hair, I'm going to use my hands to really work it into the hair. Once I'm done working the color in, I'm just going to use a piece of foil to keep the hair from drying out while I apply the color to the rest of the wig. Once I get up to the closure, I'm going to take super small sections to color the hair to make sure that I don't get any color on the lace. So I ended up running out of color, so I just went ahead and processed what I had done. And then once that's done, I ran to the store and finished that section. And this is the final product. So I started off using the Tresemme hairspray, but then I switched over to the Got To Be Free spray for a better hold. Now I'm gonna go in with my crimping iron and I was holding it for about 10 seconds each time. And y'all, I know in this portion of the video, I look a hot mess, okay? But let's just ignore that and pay attention to the wig, okay? <laughs> so just as a little tip, when you're doing crimps or waves, you kind of want to let the section over cover the sections below like a brick lay. Like as you can see, I have this section sitting on top of where the other two sections part. And also, when you're doing your waves, you want the waves on top to kind of sit right on top or right into the waves below. Hopefully that makes sense, but if not, just look at what I'm doing to try to understand what I was explaining. So before I start working on the closure, I'm going to use my wax stick to get all of the hair into place. Then I'm just going to center and clean up my part. Now I'm just going to go in with my hot comb and get everything in place to where I want it before I start crimping.
Here I'm just using some got to be gel to smooth down my edges. I'm gonna brush them down and then pull my stocking cap as far to the front as I can. I don't need a ball cap method because this is just a five by five closure. So here I'm just gonna cut out some baby hairs on each side and use some got to be glue to lay them down. And this is an old wig I've had for a while, so the hair was getting a little thin right at the front of the lace. So I just cut the lace back a little bit. So here I'm just going to use my fingers to loosen up the crimps and lay them down a little bit. And I'm just going to play with it until it looks how I want it to look. And also off camera, I added some concealer into my part to make it look more natural and skin-like. So here is the finished product. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.